hey, hey, hey. It's your girl, Jacina K. AKA Jacina Speaks. And this is the morning manna for Friday, September the 16th, 2022. And I'm excited. I'm excited about you. I'm excited about God and what he's doing in you and through you today. I am excited. God is amazing. I'm so excited. Come on in the room, honey. Come on in the room. Invite your friends. Invite your mama them, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your brother, your husband, your your daughter, your son, whoever, honey. Invite your people. Tell them, let's go. The morning man is about to, we're about to jump off. And I'm going all the way to tell you right now before I get in the prayer. Brace yourself for today. Okay? All right. Go embrace yourself, boo, because it's about to get a little heated up in here. Father, we thank you for this amazing day that you have made. We thank you for uh, just letting us see another day. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us to wake up this morning in our right mind with a good portion of health and strength. We thank you, Father God, that you continue to love on us. You continue to watch over us and protect us. You continue to keep us. And for this, we say thank you, Daddy. We love you on today. We magnify you. We lift you up. And we make your name great. How do we do that? By the life that we live. God, we glorify you your name today hallelujah and we give you praise because it you you're worthy of it cha cha you're worthy of it father so we thank you on today that you are good your mercy is everlasting and it endures through all generations we thank you for your faithfulness today we thank you for how good you've been there is nobody on the planet that can do us like you do you are forever ha, you are forever our god you listen there is nobody that has your reputation sir Baby, I'm about to get excited already. There's nobody, let me turn the fan on. There's nobody that even has your reputation. You have no rival. No one can compare to you. So we give you glory. No matter what it is we may be going through, facing, coming out of, or getting ready to go into, we give you glory because you said that you inhabit the praises of your people. We bless your name. We bless your name. Come on. We bless your name this morning. God, I pray today that as we have this conversation, that as you speak to me, that I will speak the truth in the word of God, that I will speak nothing that you do not have for me to say today, but I will speak your word. I, I thank you, Father, that the word will be clearly spoken, that it will be unhindered, that it will be a word that will ignite those that hear it, that it will be a word that they will desire to apply to their life. I pray, Father, that there will be no distractions, that there will be no distractions, no interference of this word today. I pray that this word will go forth mightily and it will take root. Uh -huh. I think that this word falls on good ground. Good ground, good ground, good ground. In the name of Jesus, hide me behind the cross. Hide me behind the cross. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Fill me, fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit that I may hear, that I may speak what you would have me to say, God. I pray to Heavenly Father that I will move all the way out of the way. Come on, somebody. I pray that I will move all the way out of the way so that you can speak through me this morning. I bless you. 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 I bless you this morning. Thank you, God, that you that you choose to use me, even in my imperfections. You choose to use me. Oh, God, because it's not about... It's not about that. It's about the heart. So we give you glory. We give you praise. And we give you honor for what you are doing in our lives. And we say thank you, sir. I pray that you will forgive me for any sins that will keep this word from going forth. I pray that you will forgive the listener of any sin that will keep them from receiving this word. I pray, Father, that your word, which is truth, will transform our lives so that we can do and be all that you've called us to do and be for the kingdom. It is in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Hallelujah and amen. Glory to God. Baby, baby, listen. Uh, good morning, good people. Good morning, Sid. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning, Latanya. Good morning, Sharon and Sharon. Good morning, Sharika. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 
Sean, I need you to hit, um, it won't let me type in here. Sabomia, Norris, I think, uh, Sabomia, I don't know, I think it's Norris, uh, Nitra, and Low. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Let them know we on here. Good morning, everybody. I love you guys. Let's get in this word. Listen, I have, uh, listen, God been, God been. I woke up this morning and I said, God, I woke up throughout the night, like one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, God, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Thanks, baby girl. What do you want to say? And he said, they're not acting like who I called them to be. I ain't even got nothing to drink. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. God says, they're not acting like who I called them to be. They're walking around with sad faces and gloomy hearts as if they've forgotten who I am. <clears throat> he said, they have forgotten. They forgot. And I need you to remind them this morning of who I said they are. Let me just drop this real quick and real fast. We got picture day today, so I don't want to get my clothes messed up. I don't want to get all heated and hot and have my makeup running and looking crazy. I just stopped by here to remind you real quick. I, I, just, I just stopped by to remind you real quick. You are more than an overcomer. You are a conqueror. Let me say that again because I'm trying to say it as calm as I can because I could, I could feel it like it's, it's, it's coming, it's going to come strong. You are more than an overcomer. I, I, I get it. Life has been rough. Life has been tough. A lot of things have happened. Listen, I'm not about to go into all of these scenarios. You already know who I'm talking to. And I'm talking to you. I know, I know that this thing that you're going through, it feels like, notice what I said, it feels like you're not going to make it. It feels like I'm about to give up. Call it quits. I'm up out of this piece. I'm done with this. I, I can't take no more. Baby, listen to me. Tell your feelings to shut up and sit your behind down. You don't get to dictate. You listen, you don't get to tell me who I am and how I'm gonna how I'm gonna walk this thing out. You don't get to do that. I get to do that. Let me tell you something, baby. Stay calm, it's picture day. I am sick and tired of us letting the enemy just come in and just flip us all around like we a god dog on pancake. Girl, you better wake yourself up. Get yourself, get yourself up over there. Looking all depressed, talking about he left me. So he left. But God is still with you. How do I know? Because his word says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He already told us not to push out trust in man because they will. Listen, they're going to deceive you. They're going to let you down. They cannot be counted on. But there is one that you can count on and his name is Jesus. Middle, middle, initial, middle, initial, middle name is the last name Christ. Maybe not so much, but that's my interpretation. Take it however you want it. I don't care. Jesus said, lo, I am with you always. Some of you feel like God is not with you. Some of you feel like you're going through this thing by yourself, baby. Listen, people that you counted on, let's not even talk about the ones that you were there for. Babe, I'm talking about you got out of your bed for. Babe, I'm talking about you woke up for to talk to on that telephone. Listen, they calling you morning, noon, day, and night. Baby, I can't be your God. Yes, sir. Let me tell Let me tell you what I just heard the Holy Spirit say. Some of you calling people and they don't answer. They're not answering because he said, stop running to them and run to me. You're going in the wrong direction. 
I don't mean to yell at you, but you got to get it today. You just got to get whatever come today. I ain't got time to apologize because this ain't none of me talking. This is the Holy Spirit trying to get your attention. And y'all know how it is when your mama used to tell you stuff. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, sit down. You know, we, they, we, we do it so nicely. Sit down, baby. Hey, Sharika, sit down. Shanti, sit down. You know, they'll begin. Let me, let me start over. They'll start a little soft for Shanti. Sit down. And they go about doing what they're doing. Sharon, sit down. Go ahead on. Now, Sharon. Now, now I don't call your name too many times. You better sit yourself down somewhere. Baby, you know when that voice, that tone change, you already gather up all your yourself. <laughs> and your senses. As you better sit yourself down. Because if you don't, baby, you about to get knocked and out. All the way out. Whenever I, I, I get it, I get it. God says, you know how to be calm, J.C. You know how to be calm. You know how to do all of the little this and that and this and that. You know how to do that, no problem. He said, but I created you to go and snatch them out. Listen, I am a revealer. I'm fire. I'm a fire side. I am a revealer, baby. When I come on the scene, I come to let you know you are, listen, you either see it and you're ignoring it, or I've come to reveal it to you so it don't take you out. I've come to reveal it to you so that you get the upper hand. Because it's you're about to be blindsided. Come on, daddy. You're about to be blindsided. So when I come and, I, and, and my voice begins to elevate, I'm not trying to yell at you. All I'm trying to do is get your attention because that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I'm trying to get your attention. Let me say it again. You are more than a conqueror. You're not going to fail. If you fall, get yourself back up. <laughs> baby, we all slide down the slippery slopes at some time or another. Some of us more than others. But baby, ain't none of us got a heaven or a hell to put nobody in. Can't none of us point no fingers. Can't none of us look at it nobody sideways. Because we all done did some dirt. We all done found ourselves in situations. Some of us that we put ourselves in. And some of us, the situations came to us. And I need to tell somebody today, you didn't ask for this, but God says you can handle it. Calm down, J.C. to Marlisa. You didn't ask for it, but God says you can handle it. Stop going to God complaining about it. Stop going, listen, stop going to your friends complaining about it. Stop talking about the problem. Listen, stop talking about the problem and talk to the problem solver. Stop talking about the situation and focus on the Savior. You got to get this today. You don't, listen, you are pumping the enemy up and you're making the problem bigger and bigger and bigger because you choose to talk about it instead of him. You got, you got it all mixed up, baby. You got it all mixed up. You been, listen, Today I am sick. Today he sent me to remind you of who you are. Who does God say that you are? Baby, you are more than a conqueror. As a matter of fact, you bad, baby. I'm talking about you big bad. Baby, you are made in his likeness and in his image. Don't you get it? That nothing shall separate you. Let, 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 me, let me read this scripture to you. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Romans 8, 31 30 through 39. Come on. Let me pull it over here so I can be looking in the camera. Come on, Jay. Come on. Pull it over. Pull it over. Mm -hmm. It says, I'm going to be reading out of the, mm, let's say the, um, the NIV. So it says, what then shall we say in response to these things? What things to this trial that I'm going through, through this trouble that I'm going through, through this situation that I'm going through, through this thing that, that come up on me, whether it's health, whether it's your finances, whether it's your job, whether it's your family, whether it's your, uh, your, your, your marriage, whatever it is, you're, you're believing God for something and, and it seems like the enemy keeps attacking you and you feel like it ain't going to never happen. Calm down. And he says, if God is for you, I know I say us, but I'm going to make it personal to you. If God is for you, baby, who can be against you? Let me say that again for somebody in the back that didn't hear. Hey, if God is for you, who can be against you? Let me say it to the person again that was driving in the car and so it, they, they, they got distracted because they had to honk the horn at somebody. If God is for you, let me put it this way. It don't even matter who is against you. He who did not spare his own son. But gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him, Jesus, graciously, graciously give us all things? So you mean to tell me God just going to let you sit in this thing? 
Baby, I know they don't call you. You done got sick. You you going through a divorce. You 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 you, you lost your baby or family. Somebody close to you. Your job. Your, your, your business is not thriving like it was. You know you 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 you're trying to figure out where you are, who you are, what your purpose is, what you got going on. It seems like the relationship that you're in that's jacked up. You're in some kind of situation ship, and you you, you want to get out, but it keeps pulling you back in. You're like it's like you got a million and one things going on in your life that you th you're trying to figure out why is this happening to me God said it's happening it's not happening to you it's happening for you if you can look at it baby you're going to have to get some different lenses you're going to have to get some different lenses see the person that has a victim mentality is the person that says why is this happening to me that's a victim Woo! God, I can't yell at these people school baby but a victim mentality the one that is over and overcome the one that's a conqueror the one that's more than a conqueror the one that knows who they are in Christ when they when you have a victor mentality this is what you say God I listen I know that you are with me and I know that you're gonna bring me through it because as you bring me through it I am growing to the other side baby there's something greater on the other side of this I can tell by the intensity of this fire baby you got to act like the three Hebrew boys listen they told them listen listen we don't care nothing about y'all throwing us in no fiery furnace but ah, you may be in a fiery furnace right now but this is what the Lord is saying to you today don't even worry about it because I'm gonna listen God said, I'm not going to take you out of the fire. Because that's what some of you want. You want him to take you out of the fire. He said, no, 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 no. Baby, for this one, I, I, I do my best work when you are in the fire. You better hear me this morning. God says, I'm not going to take you out. Because see, when I take you out, they'll say, oh, he always makes it easy for him. My God. God. He always makes it easy for him. He always pulling him out. He always pulling him out. Oh no, God said not this time. I'm not going to pull you out of this one. This one you're going to have to sit. This one you're going to have to go through. This one you're going to have to feel it. Why? He said because that's when I do my greater work. Shoot. That's when I get to show off. That's when I get to show them who I really am. I am the God that comes in the fire with you. Yes, Jesus. I'm the God that comes in the fire with you. I'm not going to snatch you out because see when I come in there with you Everybody's going to be able to see. Looks like the son of man. Looks like somebody, looks like somebody else is in there. Who is that? It's no way that she done got divorced. She looking like she looking. It's no way that she lost everything, but she's still smiling. It's no way that she's been having health challenges, but she's still praising God. It's no way that she could be going through what she's going through. And yes, she got a praise in the mouth. Let me tell you something. Your weapon right now is prayer and praise. Your weapon, your weapon, your weapon is prayer and praise. Do not murmur. Do not complain. Why? Because he says, I'm stepping in there with you. I got you. What can serve? separate you from the love of God. Nothing. Baby, he loves you so much. He ain't gonna let nothing. Baby, he's not gonna, listen, you can, you gonna be in that fire, but you gonna come out and you ain't gonna even smell like smoke. <laughs> you ain't gonna need no Febreze, baby, because the, 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 the Holy Ghost is in there with you. Yeah, yeah, he with you. He's with you. You don't have to see him to know, baby, the, Shadrach, Meshach, I was finna say in an old, you already know. And Abednego, they, I don't know if they knew he was in there. I don't, I don't know if they knew. But when they, when, when they came, those that put them in the fire, they looked in and they said, I see the three, but I see another. Well, somebody find that scripture for us. Somebody find that scripture for us. He said, I see, I see three, but there's another one. And then this this what they said. Now, now, now remember, they didn't even believe in, 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 in uh, their God. Y'all better hear me this morning. Y'all better hear me this morning. <clears throat> but they looked in the fire and say, but we see a fourth one, and it looks like the Son of God. If you don't know him, how do you know that's him? Baby. There are people that are watching you. Baby, please hear me. There are people that are watching you. They don't believe in your God. They don't believe in your Jesus. They don't believe. But when they see you, when they see you, 
not concerned about the fire. You know that the fire is there. You're very well aware. But this is what you say. Listen. If God do, he do. If he don't, he don't. I ain't going to get myself worked up. Daniel 3 and 23, I'm not going to get myself worked up. I'm not finna. I, 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 listen, you getting yourself all worked up <clears throat> about this thing that you're going through. Baby, it's nothing you can do about it. So when you can't do anything about it, guess what you need to do? You need to pray about it. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. This is what God said to me. JC, they, they have forgotten that prayer. They've forgotten how important prayer is. Listen, no prayer, no power. More prayer, more power. I done told you what your weapon is. Your weapon is prayer and praise. Ask Paul and Silas. Baby, they was praying and praising so much that the chains, listen, to the prison doors was unlocked. Not only was the chains to the prison doors unlocked, but those that were listening, those that were watching, those that put them in the prison. One of the men said, well, what must I do to be saved? Listen, because it's got to be something. <laughs> There is no way that you didn't open up these, these in prison doors just and open like this. And I know y'all handcuffed. So somebody's got to be moving and operating. And it ain't none of my God. It ain't who I believe in. And I don't even know who to believe in. But somebody is working in this situation. People are watching you. This is why you got to be careful how you walk this thing out. You've got to be careful who you talk to. Some of y'all talk to one person and you're saying, you know, the Lord is and God is great and this and this and that about the Lord. And to the very same person, you're saying, oh, my God, I don't know if God going to come through. Oh, my God. Listen, it, it, it's, 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 it's okay for you to be able to share your heart. But some of us are sharing our heart with the wrong people. Some of us are tainting our testimony because you can't close your mouth. I said what I said and that's what I said. And I meant it. You need to learn to close your mouth and you need to take your, you, listen, you need to take your feelings and your emotions because God can handle it. You need to take how, how, what's going on with you to God because he's the only one that can fix it. I'm going to need you to read about the four men in the furnace. I'm going to need you to read about it. You know why I'm going to need you to read about it? I'm going to need you to read about it because it's going to help you to be reminded of the you fact that... that. It is going to help you be reminded of the fact that God is with you no matter what the situation. Ask Daniel in the lines then. Daniel said, I'm not, I'm not about to pray to no other God but mine. Y'all can do whatever you want. They said, well, throw us behind in the lines then then. Then he was like, okay, well, so be it. If I get eaten up, I get eaten up. I've done the will of God. And that's what you got to say in this thing that you in. Listen. If this thing consumes me, I, listen, I'm standing on the word of God. That's how your faith has got to be in this season. You can't be around here. You can't be no wimp. God has invested too much in you. Job. The devil went to God. Concerning Job. Let me give you these Bible people for you can study tonight doing your 21 days of nothing but the word. You need something to read, you read any one of these. The devil went to Job and said, listen, you got your hands on that boy. He, that's why he served you. <laughs> that's why he served you. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Who am I talking to? He served you because, you know, you done, you done made him wealthy. You know, you, you done gave him a house. You done gave him, you done gave him a nice job. You done gave him a nice car. You know, the children are well. Everything is good. You know, I mean, look what, you, what you've done for him. I praise you too. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't praise a God that just gives him everything? He don't suffer nothing. I praise you too. That's easy to praise when you know everything is good. Let me get to him. Let me take him out. God says you can do anything you want to him, but you can't kill him. Go ahead on. Go. Hey, Gabriel, Mike, y'all, let up. Pull back. The manger was like, all right, but stand by. <laughs> That's what God just said. Like, hey, hey, pull up. Pull back. But stand by. Just keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on Shanta. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on Latonya. Keep your eyes on 
What was God saying? I'm about to show her who she really is. I'm about to reveal to him who he really is. I see what the enemy trying to do. He's trying to mess with this video, but he's a liar. This word is going to go forth today. I bind every distraction and every interference in the name of Jesus. I think it's time for another gathering. Let me tell you something. The enemy can't do nothing to you unless God says okay. Everything that you go through, God did not send. But he allows. I know that sound. I know you don't like that because I don't even like that. I don't even like saying it, but it's the truth. If you're going through it, God says, you can handle it. That's basically what he's saying. You were built for this. <laughs> you can handle it. Whether it's a fire, whether you lose it all, whether it's your health. Who was it that he took the, the, the health was all jacked up over there in the Old Testament? Who was that? And, 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 and they was telling him he was going to die. And he prayed and God said, I'm going to extend your life. I think it was like 15 years or something. No, you ain't going nowhere. I'm going to extend your life. Let me tell you something. Don't let nobody tell you anything different than what God has told you. This is why you're going to have to know who you are and what God said about your situation. This is why he's saying, press into the word. This is why he's saying, listen, you got to get your eyes off of social media. You Listen, you got to get your head out of social media. You got to get your behind from in front of that TV. You can't be listening to any and everything. You can't be surrounded. Surrounded by and connected to just anybody. You have got to. Listen. You're going to have to know me. And what I told you in these last days. Because it is only going to be. What my word says. That's going to help you to stand. It ain't going to be what J.C. to say. It ain't going to be what your, your pastor. Your bishop or the apostle. It ain't going to be what. No, listen. It ain't going to be what th th these people say. It's going to be what I said. And when, if you don't know what I said. Then what they said. That thing going to come. It's going to be a little shaky. You saw what happened to Eve. Don't you? Because God didn't tell her firsthand, she, he told Adam, and Adam told Eve, when the enemy came, Eve said, well, maybe, you know, I mean, but when God tells you for yourself, there's something about the word that he tells you for yourself. That thing takes root in you. Huh? He said, hot my word in your heart, Lisa, that you may not sin against me. You know why he said, hot, cut, shit, robo, bo, she can, da, 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 ba, so, la, ke, shum, bo, 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 se, ke, robo, bo, she can, ba, 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 so, I felt that thing. God says, if you hot, my word in your heart. You ain't, yeah, listen, sin against you don't mean you're going to go out here and wild out. It just could mean you could walk in unbelief. You know that is a sin. You could begin to doubt God. You know that is a sin. You could, you, listen, you could begin to get shaken in your faith. Stop being so deep all the time, thinking somebody talking about something. Now, no, it's real simple, boo. When you don't believe what God said, you're sinning. Mm -hmm. It's real simple. God says, no matter what comes, no matter what goes, stand. <laughs> Ask Donnie. Stand. What you gonna do when nothing looks like what it used to look like? You gonna stand? You're not. Listen, the enemy cannot take you out. He does not have the power to take you out. That's why he you. That's why he uses your mouth. He you. He listen. He plants a seed in your head for you to open up your mouth to contradict everything that 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 God told you. I told y'all these are not Bible stories these are testimonies and all testimony listen all testimonies are not who praise God some testimonies are like look this is what I had then honey let me tell you see nobody wants to tell that part of the story nobody wants to tell the part of the story like what Eve got Eve didn't believe God instead she believed the serpent she didn't believe nor obey the instructions that were given to her. So she believed the serpent. As a result, now this is why we have labor pains. This is why we why we hurt so bad. This is this is this is why why you know we're up, up we're here to our husbands and he's up, up here. They was walking side by side. It wasn't no he tell it's ruler. Ah, it wasn't no sub, 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 submitting. It was maybe we, we it's me and you together. We submit to him. Now, because of what Eve did, now we got to submit to this man. You better pay attention to what God is trying to teach you in the Word. These there are examples. 
for you to learn from. Just like you tell your children, listen, I want you to learn from my experience. I don't want you to go out there and go through what I did. Well, the same thing goes for us. You've got to shift your perspective. You don't tell the problem. Don't let the problem tell you what it's going to be like. You tell the problem. My God is bigger. He can do anything. Listen, let, let me finish reading Romans because I got excited. 32, it says, He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him, Jesus, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? Who, who going to do it? You've been chosen. I believe it's First Peter 2. You've been chosen. You are part of a royal priesthood. A holy nation. You got to know who you are. I guarantee Bill Gates, son, they know who he is and he know who his father is. And anytime anybody try to do anything, he said, uh-uh, let me call my father. You better call your father. Stop calling other people and trying to tell them what's going on with you and call your father. We can't do nothing for you. Some of you, let me say, oh God, that's kind of harsh, but I'm, I got to say it. Some of you feel like calling other people is going to help you. Yes, the Bible says to encourage one another. Yes, it says to, you know, to lean on each other through prayer and all of that. Your first go-to should be God. God should never be our last resort. And for many of us, he is. He's who we go to after we done went to everybody else and we done tried everything else. We go to God. And this is what God is saying. When are you going to get it? When are you going to get that? Either I sent the test or I allowed the test. And it's to build your character. Everything about what we're going through. It ain't God mad at you. He sent his son. He loves you. It is nothing that you could do that would ever stop him from loving you. He chose you first. Come on. Don't let your problem get you so, your mind so decombobulated that you don't remember who your father is. Listen, I know. <clears throat> Myself, my earthly father was not in my life. I saw him every now and then. I don't even really have no memories of my dad like that. Going to the parsonage and sitting in there with, you know, in his house. I don't really have any memories. And I was saying this to God this morning at 1 o'clock. God, I don't really, I don't really have no memories as a child that, that I'm fond of. I, I've, I've never even... I don't know who I, who this is for. I've 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 never even uh, had a love from a man that really loved me. That that I'm talking about loved me like your word says. Cause he already told me if he does not have my character, he's not. I didn't send him. God, I've never had that. I've I've loved you know a few uh, a few guys that you know. But I've never been in love. This is what I'm talking to God about this morning at 1 o'clock in the morning. I've never been in love. I said I feel like a failure when it comes to love. Now, we're not going to cry. It is picture day. Mm -mm, stop. Get yourself together. Hey, hey. Come on, Jay. Come on. Come on. Get yourself together. You okay? Come on, Jay. Come on. You got this. You got this. So, child is coming. <laughs> I said, I don't know what that kind of love feels like. And so this is why I was so promiscuous and I would find myself in situations because I was really looking for the love 
of my father, my heavenly father. I didn't know that then. So I looked for it from my earthly father and I didn't get it. I, I looked for it from, from my mother. And I know they loved me, but I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it like that. I don't have any memories of love. But I will say this, one of the most amazing things that happened to me. God, I'm going to be bawling here in a minute. One of the most amazing things that happened to me was last year when my, I call them my daughter. They're my daughters, but they're, they're my daughters from another mother. Shanti surprised me last year for my birthday. Well, it was before my birthday, but it was at the gathering that we had in November. And she called these people, texted them, messaged them, and said, What would you like to say to Miss Jacina? I'm sure she said to Ma about something about her. What would you like to say to her? And I'm talking about people. She met, had videos and Mm. That baby took took her time. That was one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, have mercy, my pictures. <laughs> That's why you gotta bring makeup to school. That baby took her time to reach out to others on the morning manor and just friends and man I cried I cried I cried I got home and I started reading all them messages and watching the videos that was the first time that I really felt love and I was crying out to God. I said, God, this desire to be married, it didn't come from me. Because I know people that have divorced and they never want to get married again. That's not my story. I don't even know how I got on this. I'm talking about overcoming. I guess you're going to tie it together. <laughs> and I'm going, I want to experience that. I want to experience that. The love that you show me from heaven, I want to experience that on the earth. I want to experience that. <clears throat> Being married to me means something different now than it meant. Now, you'd ask me about five years ago, I'd have been saying, listen, I don't want to fornicate. I'm tired of fornicating. I don't want to fornicate. I want to get it right. That's what I would have been telling you. Truth. Babe, I don't have time for lies because lies will get you somewhere caught up where you don't want to be. And the enemy will be punching you in the face, trying to take you out because you don't want to tell the truth about the matter, baby. I, listen, one thing you're going to get from me is the truth. I might have to give it to you little pieces at a time, but you're going to get the truth. Nobody got time to be lying. And I said, God, I... I didn't, I, I, I didn't, this desire didn't, didn't come from me. It had to come from you because it intensifies. Oh, the more I walk in my calling, the more intense it gets. But it gets intense in a different way. I just want us to, I want us to live for the kingdom. Whether we do kingdom work together or not. I want our marriage to be a blessing to the kingdom. I want when people see us, they see God on our marriage. That's my heart. And I want to get me some and not have no... <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> got to, I got to stop crying. I God darn it. Got to stop crying, y'all. <laughs> Might have got tired of me around here sitting and... Mm -mm, Jesus is soon to come, baby. I, mm -mm. I told him all of that. 
See, God can handle it. That's my storm. Your storm could be health. Your storm could be relationships. Your storm could be your parents, your marriage, your, 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 your job. Your storm may be different than mine, but we all got something that, that keeps us on our knees. That keeps us going back to the Father. All of us. And I just want to encourage you today that it won't always be like this. We may be mourning now, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, but mourning's coming, baby. <laughs> Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait for him to manifest the things that he has promised us. Don't give up. On God because he won't give up on you he's able I'm telling you, he's able he's able remember when I said people are watching you baby my husband might be watching me and I don't even know it I don't I don't I don't I don't even know it but guess what I'm not doing it for him I'm doing this and for an audience of one I, all, I told Lillian this the other day. I said, God has trained me. No, Tara. Somebody. One of them two. God has trained me since 2020 to speak his word in this classroom and in my house with nobody there. So that when he sends me, I am humble to the point of this is where I started. In my classroom. In 228. I started in my classroom. And in my adoration, my love, the reason that I do this was for God. And so I believe that when we keep God at the forefront, when he is our focus, let me tell you something. Yes, I might have nights like I had last night, a rough night where I had to cry out to God. And I just begin to tell him, Lord, I want him to be loving like you. I want him to be able to see my flaws, but love me anyway. Love me even the more. Have grace with me. Be patient. Baby, them prayers was different last night. I mean, I don't have no fleshly prayers anymore. You know why? Because I've allowed my father to love on me. I, I, I've spent time with my father and he's changed my perspective. He, he's changed my heart. This is what the Bible means when it says, delight thyself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. That's what it means. When you begin to delight yourself in him, that means spend time with him, love on him. That means to read his word. That means to, to do his word, to walk his word out in your life. Not only will you, listen, you, you will be speaking to those that watch you because people don't believe Believe what you say. People believe what they see. This is why I'm telling you. You got to get yourself together. You got to remember who you are. And if you have a moment, take it to God. I wasn't calling Lillian. I wasn't calling Tara. I wasn't calling Sonia. At 1 o'clock in the morning. Talking about, you know, I'm over here having a meltdown. I talked to my daddy. And let me tell you something for the religious people. You ain't got to get on your knees on the floor. You ain't got to put your hands up. Baby, you could be in that bathroom, in that shower. Baby, you could be in your car. You could be laying down in the bed talking to the Lord. All, we got to get up out of all of these. And this is why some of us can't get a, can't get a prayer through because you, you want to be formal. Stop calling other people. All God is doing, he's growing you as you go through. Wow. He's growing you as you go through. And the more that you reach out to him, the more that you lay that thing at his feet, the listen, I'm telling you, he will strengthen you. Because I'm telling y'all, I know it's the joy of the Lord. I know it's the peace of God. Because, baby, I would be out there trying to get me some all the time. Let me say this and help somebody. Sex is good. It's real good. It's it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful, Ooh, especially if it's the right person, honey. Y'all don't listen to these deprived the people. These people that ain't gonna talk to y'all like you need to be spoken to, baby. I ain't that one. I listen. I am a renegade prophet. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I ain't nobody got time for no lie. I don't know what then had going on, but baby, I've I've had. A couple along my day <laughs> that got your girl right. 
<sighs> this is the stuff y'all be wanting to hear. This is why I be having to do zooms, cause I, I'll come for you. I'm telling you right now. I don't. I don't. This is the one thing that I have learned about my walk with the Lord. I have to be real with me. I am not about to sit over here and be talking about sex is, it's all right. Stop that little you, baby. Stop it. Some of y'all could get you something right now. You'll be like, hey, come on, come on, come on. Come to, not Jesus, but come on in this, not even in the room. I love it anyway. I cracks my own self up. But I'm trying to help somebody. You can't help nobody lying. Faking the phone. You got to be real with people because people are out here struggling. People ready to leave their spouses and go find them something new. People are out here dealing with health issues and, and not believing God going to help. People got real issues and we're out here still playing church. We playing church. We playing. And if I got time to play church, we got to be the church. And if Jesus is coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle, baby, you got to get real about where you are, who you are, and your situation in order to overcome it. You cannot keep sitting up here lying. Baby, I'm telling you, y'all, I used to, listen, I wasn't no hoe, but let me tell you something. If you was my person, I promise you, if you went out there and cheated, you was a fool. Because I, 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 I made sure I, I did my due diligence. I, I did. I, I gave wifely benefits to the jokers that wasn't none of my husbands because I wasn't no loose woman I just you know wanted what I wanted and I go out there you know do what I what I needed to do just as before the word became real I was a Christian too but the word wasn't real in my heart I, I, I hadn't made I hadn't made up my mind to live for Christ I made I made up my mind to to give him my heart. But you know you can give God your heart. And not live for him. You know you can do that. Let me holler at you real quick before I leave. You know that you could give your heart to Jesus. You could confess that you believe. And then still live this. Just live out him. However you want. The one thing I want you to do today is I want you to be real. Now you may not be as free as I am where you could where you could tell it like I tell it. After listen, I tell you, every time I tell my testimony, I overcome. I overcome more and more. I get stronger and stronger because I am no longer afraid to tell my story. This is my story. I don't know what your issues are because every last one of you got one. But <clears throat> I will tell my story because I know it's somebody that needs to hear the truth in the church. Because people out there in the street, baby, they have no problem. Baby, they have no problem telling you. <laughs> they tells you too much. At least I will tone it down. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying. I'm listen. I want your soul to be right because when Jesus come back. Y'all, I don't be out there doing five years ago, child. If my body said I won't, I said okay. Now it say I sit yourself down. Calm yourself down. I don't go take no cold showers because that crap don't work. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but somebody need to hear it and it's you. It's one of y'all. I have to, You have to discipline yourself. You're gonna have to you have to discipline yourself to do do the right thing. Some of y'all curse worse than a sailor. You can't even type a text without cussing. You got a bad attitude. Don't let me get the name of your stuff. You know what it is. The more you tell the truth, the more you face the woman or the man in the mirror about your stuff, the more you'll be able to overcome. I'm telling you. Stop lying saying, well, I don't like that. Yes, you do. Oh, you wouldn't do it. You like it. You like it. <laughs> but you're getting convicted now. You should thank God for convict. Baby, I thank him all the time. <laughs> conviction say it is a saver of many of our lives. Because if we did, conviction means that you got a relation, you, 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 you have an intimate relationship with God. If you are not being convicted, you need to be terrified. 
when you mistreat somebody, say something you're not supposed to be doing, or doing something you're not supposed to, if you don't have no conviction, you need to be terrified. Because that means that you have moved away from God. Because he ain't going to move away from you. That means that something is not right with your relationship with God. If you could go out here and sin and talk in the kind of way and live in the kind of way and, and, and you okay with it, like you don't have nothing saying that you know you shouldn't be doing this, I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid. But if you do something and you start second guessing that thing or you start feeling like, mm, it ain't something told me. It's the Holy Ghost. Let's get that right. Something told me. Ain't no something. Baby, you ought to just thank God. Because that's him saying, he's chasing you. He said, I, I don't do that. Hey, 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 hey. You remember how that, how that, how your mom used to say, hey, don't do that, Wanda, Wanda, don't do that. Don't do that, Lafar, don't do that. Don't do that. Sorry. He be so gentle with it. He don't cause no condemnation. He don't make you feel bad about it. But he pricks you. He pricks your heart to say, mm, don't do that. And when you love him, you will pull back. You will discipline and teach yourself how to pull back. Your husband say something. You get ready to pop off. He'll say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You'll feel it right in here. Uh-uh, don't do that. And you'll be like, oh. Somebody call you with some foolishness and you ready to gossip about it. Girl, yeah. You be like, girl, how your mama doing? <laughs> hey, Farrah, I didn't even know you was on, boo. You, you'll be like, how your mama doing? Baby, you switch that subject. Let them know I'm not about to be a part of this. Let me tell you something about that. Because when you put your mouth on it, you just came in agreement with it. And God doesn't like it. Amen? Some of the things that we're going through... We put our, we did it. We put ourselves in that position for this storm to happen. I need to say this because I hear it. Some of you, you are getting signs in your body to go to the doctor and you keep ignoring it. I'm going to tell you something that I do. I'll set a reminder in my phone about something and it'll pop up and I'll keep delaying it and delaying it. And God said procrastination is a sin, Jacina. Stop doing that. If you put it in your phone to do at that time, do it. Stop procrastinating. Because when you procrastinate about the little things, you procrastinate about the big things. You have got to stop being a procrastinator. Stop putting stuff off and putting stuff off and putting stuff off to a better time. You are going to lose. You're going to lose time, energy, money, something. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all. I do. I love y'all. Stop that procrastinating. Close your mouth and take yourself to the Lord in prayer. Stop walking around gloomy. Stop being a victim. Oh, I ain't going through this. Stop that. Stop that. You agreeing with the enemy. Every time you every time you murmur and complain, you agreeing with the enemy. And you saw what? Let me give you another thing to go look up tonight when, during your prayer time this weekend. Study, study them Israelites again and stop saying, oh, I read that. That's some of our problem right there because you done heard that scripture, because you done heard that, that, that uh, piece of text in the Bible. You, you get halted. You get halted. You start saying, oh, I know that already. That's what your problem is. You think you know the word better than the word. No, 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 baby. The word will read you. If you if you take your time with it and you invite the presence of the Holy Spirit in, the word will read you. And it will reveal some things to you that you had not seen before because, see, you weren't in the same place you were in now. Now you're hungry. Now you want God. And God says, okay, I can reveal it to her because now she's ready to receive it. When before you was just reading just to be reading. That's why you was falling asleep and all the time of carrying on. I know I'm talking to you. Whether you want to receive it or not, it's up to you. But... <laughs> Whosoever will, let them come. God want to talk to you. But you got to silence the other voices. Ha! I felt that, God. You got to silence the other voices. You got to clear the clutter. Some of you that's clutter in your house, clutter in your, in your job, on your job, clutter in your purse. Clutter. Clear the clutter. I was ironing my clothes last night and God says, what if I'm trying to get you to finish decluttering this house so that you can meet him? But since you keep procrastinating, because you done got it to a, to a way now where it's not overwhelming, you keep procrastinating. You, what if you're delaying him from coming? Because when he comes, you got to be ready. Y'all, 
I almost burnt this shirt up. I said, what? It, Y'all, it, it, some of this stuff, God is saying, you're not ready for what you've been praying for. So, yeah, I can't get that to you right now. You wouldn't even be grateful for it. You'll be grateful for it for a few moments and then. What has God told you to do that you have not done yet? Get it done. Give yourself a deadline and stop procrastinating. Tell everything else, nope, I can't come. You don't need to be going to all these parties and dinners and all this kind of carrying on anyway. You, some of y'all just too busy for God. You too busy for yourself. Your life is not, it's not that serious. You, anyway, child, let me go ahead on and go over and take these pictures. Try to find something to put on my face. How I look, y'all? Because I, I, you know, I have little dark spots under my eyes. And I cannot have that in the pictures because it's not very many of us. I'm, I'm very a few in number here and I got to make sure I'm represented right in the, in the yearbook. That's all I'm saying. And I say it out loud because I'm not afraid of anybody, but I don't want it to come across wrong. Get yourself together, okay? Remember, you are an overcomer, baby. You are more than a conqueror. Say it. When you, don't, when, you, when you declutter, you can think differently. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. You can think differently. Oh, thank you, Sin. I appreciate y'all. I'm telling you, declutter. It's going to help you. It's going to change your life. Get that purse together. And some of you got to stop talking to your husbands. I keep hearing that every time I come on. It's the way they talk to him. Baby, you know that man is a good man. Just send him on over here to me. Well, let me see how he look first. <laughs> okay, I'm finna go. <laughs> I'm finna go. I, I can't with y'all. Stop doing these men like stop doing my my brother-in-laws like that. Now stop it. Cause I'm telling you, your trash is somebody else's treasure. Oh, Wanda, thank you. Your trash is somebody else's treasure. Now I don't I I, I listen. I don't ever ask for money or anything like that. I don't. I just believe that God would lay on on whoever hard to be a blessing. But I just saw Wanda's message, and um, I'm going to ask Shanti. I don't know if she's still on here. Shanti, to drop my information in the chat. If not, I'll drop it here in a minute. But I just want to be a blessing to you. I, I, God is telling me to do another gathering, so I'm going to be doing a gathering here soon. That's where we just come together. We have real talks. We just, we just, we just sit back and have real talks. So please be on the lookout for that. Sharika, come on, baby. Treasure, treasure my brother-in-law. Treasure him, because, baby, somebody ready to snatch him up at any moment. You don't want him. Treat your husbands well, y'all. Treat them well. Pray for them. I'm telling y'all, Wednesday, if you miss Wednesday's live, you need to go back and watch that. The prodigals are coming home. You got to pray for them. If they don't know the Lord like you do, it's your responsibility to live a lifestyle before them that wins over their heart to follow Christ. Just like it's their responsibility to, to lead you. And let me just say this. If if he says something, if your husband is, is y'all got a decision to make and he says something and it looked like y'all going to go into a, a ditch, follow him and pray that God changes his perspective. Follow. I know it's hard, Lord Jesus. Your job is to pray, not to open your mouth, not to say I told you so or you don't need to do that. Because a lot of times we are the smarter one. It's the intuition that God has given us. Don't do that, sis. Don't don't lord that over his head. He will, that, for some of your husbands, I gotta tell you, for some of your husbands, they are not confident in their decisions. They're not confident in who they are as a man. Your your friend, your boyfriend, whatever you got going on, is because you're the smarter one, and we're quicker with our mouth. We're quick when I say with our mouth, we're quicker to speak. We 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 you know we're smart. And so we can say things that they haven't even thought of. That's why you're his help meet. You're here to help meet the need, girl. Stop trying to run things. Let that man, listen, plant that thing in his head and let him feel like he, he, he made the decision. And then clap him up. 
But if he make a wrong decision, when you follow him, when you submit and come under, that's what it means. It don't mean let him rule over you and you and he can make you do any kind of thing. No, you need to study submit. If you're a wife and you're having a hard time submitting or you're getting ready to get married, and you, you need to get a clear understanding of what submitting is and pray for that for your husband or for your future spouse, all right? Submitting means to come up under. It means to uh, 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 have a humbleness to come up under, right? So when he when you come up under, if he takes you in a direction, God going to make sure you're taken care of because you submit it. If you try to do whatever you want to do and try to make the decision and try to do this and that and talk about him and, and break him down with your words and don't want to give him none of that, that you know, that twang twang, you is out of order and you're going to get hit too. When, when, when the hit come, it's going to hit both of y'all. But... Somebody say, but if you if you humble yourself and submit your little self, blessings to you, Wanda. I love you. Thank you so much for your seed. I pray that God blesses you a hundredfold. Submit is what God told us to do. When Eve messed up, that's that that's what God told us to do. Amen. All right. Dun, 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 dun. That's all I got. I don't hear nothing else. And they love you. They just don't know how to show you. But you got to teach them. Teach them how to love you. Teach them gently. Not bossy. Gently. Ask God to, to make you gentle. Ask him to make you gentle. More gentle with your love. Okay? You can't be out here and you need to do this and you... He's not going to hit, listen, that man would rather sleep on the tin roof. You know them tin roofs gets hot and they get cold. He'd rather you know, sleep on a tin roof than be in there with you, with that mouth. Sis, I'm already asking God to help me because I know I could, I know, I know this little gal right here, J.C. to my Lisa, baby. But I'm asking God to teach me how to temper my tongue. You may have to say what you need to say, but there's a way to say it. Just, just, just ask yourself, if he said it to me like this, how would it make me feel? Okay? Okay. It's because I love you. Throw them old raggedy underwear in the garbage, the bras that, listen, your breasts need, they asking you to throw them away anyway. That bra, you done had it too long. Go and get you some new stuff, sis. Get you some new smell good. Don't ever go to bed smelling regular. Always go to bed, especially if he mess up and tell you he like that scent. Baby, wear it out. Or keep that scent for when you want to do something special for him. So he know, oh my gosh, she got that scent on. It's about that gold. <laughs> now, baby, I got tips for you. Single women always got tips. <laughs> I'm finna go. Finna. That's country. I'm finna go. Baby, the single women always got tips that we can't wait to put in the office. You'll thank me later. Get you some V vitamins. You can order them right there on Amazon. V E E vitamins. Just get them. Just get them. <laughs> Let the Lord wash between me. And the <laughs> See, that's why I'm called because God said, Stop it. But y'all know I'm telling the truth. Y'all know it. Man, that man tired of looking at them same clothes you be wearing to bed. He tired of it. Ooh, Angela ain't got no pineapple juice. <laughs> Angela say drink your pineapple juice. I ain't even made no coffee. I ain't even made no coffee. I ain't did nothing. Why well, be just trying to get him? Ooh. I sure will tell Cora you said hello. I sure will. Okay, I love y'all. Y'all want to be a blessing to your sister? It's cash out my first name. J-A-C-I-N-N-A. <gasps> and if you want to zail, uh, new beginnings ahead at Gmail. And that beginning's got an S. 
Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go because y'all ain't about to have me uh, <laughs> laughing with y'all today. That was fun. That was fun. got to laugh. You got to laugh a little bit. You cannot be a prune Christian. People need to see that you can laugh. Because I'm telling you, you got to find something to laugh about sometimes. You know, sometimes life can, life can really be tough. But God, God, come on. Shit. Rico, stop wearing anything to bed because it's comfortable comfortable to you don't mean that he like it. Start off with something and then switch it out laying in the middle of the night once you go to sleep. If you got to throw that stuff away, you'll adjust. I love y'all. God, we thank you so much for this time that we've had with you today. We thank you for um, the conviction. We thank you for the correction. We thank you for the enlightening, the revelation. And we thank you for the reminder. Yeah, just reminding us that um, that you love us. We thank you. Oh, you love us. You love us. I need y'all to finish reading Romans 8, 31 through 39. Read that. Read that. Read that and put that in your spirit. God is with you. And God, we thank you that you are. We thank you that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. We give you praise, honor, and glory for who you are. Amen. Amen. May the Lord watch between you and thee. I pray that God will bless you and keep you. He'd make his countenance, lift up his countenance towards you. He will show you his peace, his favor. I pray that according to Psalms 91, no sickness, no disease, no virus, no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. And I pray that goodness, grace, and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. This is why I don't look at the comments. This is why. Because look at Shanti. Out of control. My daughter gets out of control. This is why I do not look at these comments. Because I be in a mode of prayer or uh, prophetic word. And here comes Shant talking about wax it. You do need to wax it though. You do. But I just didn't need to see that trying to end the prayer. This is. Y'all be about this foolishness. Y'all do. Because y'all. This is what y'all be wanting to hear. And then I don't blame you because this is this gonna set you free too because it is the truth. Sow a seed when you bless your husband and he thank you. Sow a seed because somebody got to tell you. It might as well be, yeah, me. Single ladies, we got to keep ours. I got a whole bin. I got a whole bin that mine in. He need to come on because my body fluctuates and sometimes I can wear some of these things. <laughs> Sometimes I can wear some of this stuff, but sometimes I can't because this body be doing a, a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you not see it? Yeah, I see it. I got to go. Ooh. Ooh. That's why I be wanting to laugh, y'all. Tired of walking around sad and gloomy and feeling defeated. and It's just not, it's just not a good feeling. It's, it feels so good to laugh. The Bible says laughter is good like a medicine. Some of y'all need to laugh more. That's what your problem is. You need to just laugh more. <laughs> I'm going to a comedy show and I want to invite all y'all to come with me. Okay, I'm getting ready to go for real, seriously, because y'all is doing a lot today. I love y'all. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Heart hands. I love y'all. Keep it real. All right. Always be truthful to yourself and remind yourself of how amazing you are. You're amazing. So she's going to get through this just like you did the last time. With God on your side, nothing is impossible. Doesn't mean that it won't be hard. Doesn't mean that it won't hurt. It doesn't mean that it, you know, you won't have some rough days. But baby, morning is coming. We be may endure for a night, but joy is coming. All right. I promise you. I love y'all. Have an amazing weekend with your beautiful self. Girl, you beautiful. Just bad. When God made you, he broke the mold. I'm telling you, sis. You are amazing. Don't you ever forget it. Don't worry about what you want to change. Uh-uh. If you got it, celebrate it, baby. Celebrate it. And watch how it changes your perspective. Everything is about perspective. I love you. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.